In 2003, rookie guard T.J. Ford burst onto the NBA scene with the Milwaukee Bucks. But suddenly, Ford's world went dark. And I think we was getting ready to run a, like a side pick and roll. I, I think I went before the pick came. Anyway, I went middle. And uh, Mad Dog was underneath the rim, and I jumped into him, and, and he tried to block the shot, and I know that they called foul. So I hung in the air a little longer, and... As I was on my way down, I released the ball. As I was coming down, my my right foot, uh, my heel missed the missed the ground. Both of my legs in the air, and I ended up falling directly on my butt. And I had got up pretty high. And after that, I just I couldn't move. You know, uh, my whole body was pretty much numb. Was he wasn't at home? He was at work, and I was watching the TV. So I just stood up, you know, in front of the TV, waiting, you know, waiting for him to get up. Ford had bruised his spinal column, worsening a condition that was first diagnosed when he was in high school. And though the numbness quickly subsided, Ford was done for the season, with doctors divided on how to treat his condition. At 20, he didn't know when or if he'd be cleared to play again. You really find out who's friend and what's business. And that's something that I had to find out. Um, you know, by me not playing because all endorsement deals that you normally would get, you know, those fade away and some are taken away. And then you have some friends that call you all the time. Then you have some friends who, who don't. Three months after the injury, Ford underwent surgery that fused two of his vertebrae together. But that was just the beginning of his rehab. For more than a year, Ford was barred from the basketball court. I know he had doubts when, you know, you go by what the, the, the media, what they, what they put out, uh, what the people around you, your friends, they put out. But like I can say with family being around, and I think he came through it. When T.J. Fort was at his lowest, there was only one place for him to go. He went home to Houston, where a network of friends and family and this rec center helped make him whole again. What did your folks do for you during that time? Just kept me pot. They kept, you know, they kept me with good spirit. You know, they didn't really dwell on me not playing. You know, they didn't bring no negativity or let me think negatively about not ever playing again. I think once they got to the point of telling him and released him to do to go and do more activity, I think things lightened up. When Ford was finally cleared to get back on the court, he went straight to John Lucas, a family friend to start the long process of on-court rehabilitation. Lucas had to start from scratch, rebuilding Ford's legs, his jumper, and his confidence. He was scared. He was scared, and I think I told him life is nothing but a bunch of start-overs. So now you got to start over. And if you get hurt, we got to be willing to start over. It was tough because when I first started, we got on the, on the gun machine, and... I could only shoot like 25 shots before I get tired, and only maybe five of those was shot correctly. <laughs> NBA veterans Sam Cassell and Damon Stoudemire in Houston for the summer also brought Ford back during daily workouts at Lucas's gym. It has to be hard going to the gym every day, but not being able to see the end of that tunnel. And, you know, what I try to tell him each and every day was, man, you just got to keep working hard because, you know, you're going to get to where you want to get. And, you know, you might, not, you might not see it right now, but believe me, you're a lot closer than what you think. But the first time Ford played two-on-two... -two, he fell, screamed, hollering, screamed, could hear him all the way over the place, and he didn't do anything the rest of the day. The next day he came, and it was kind of fearful to get there. And that day we all met as a group and we said, from now on, Whenever he falls, we let him get his own self up. Which happened the following afternoon. As I was getting ready to go up, and I lost my balance and fell. Uh, fell on my butt again, so it was scary. I'm pretty sure I said uh, something real loud. And I, the whole gym got quiet. So the next time he fell, get up, TJ, let's go. I got up and nothing was wrong. And he just told me, now you know that you could take a fall. And we started pushing set picks on him, do all of the things that he would normally do and not have any exception. 
and we just kept building on that. And I think that's all it took was that one fall for me to get my confidence. The hard love paid off. After spending the summer in Lucas's gym, Ford was ready to return to the Bucks, and he doesn't look like he's missed a beat. TJ Ford. I was shocked. Um, like I say, with not seeing him play, and then when I saw him play, the intensity level that he was playing, I mean, I just like, oh, he's back. You know, I knew at that point that he was back when I saw him play. I've been involved with the NBA since 76, and there's really only about five true point guards. There are a lot of guards that have played the position. John Stockton, Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas. T.J. Ford and uh, myself. Almost forget me. <laughs> so on this day, especially, there is a lot for which T.J. Ford is thankful. I, I look at life different since I got hurt. You know, I don't take too much for granted, and I definitely don't take basketball for granted. So every time I get step on the court, I'm gonna play the best that I can at night, whether I score 20 points or don't score at all, I'm going to play my heart out.